So Revelation 12 tells us the sign will occur before the escape of the woman and the flood, which will happen after 1260 years. That's what it seems to be telling us. And we see that occurring now from 2014 to 2016 right here, the end of this 1260 year period. And that's the asteroid timing. So um, again, we talk about that in the other videos. It tells us the asteroid hits at the end of a 1260 year period. And then the book of Daniel confirms not only that it is the 2014 to 2016 time period within the seven year period right here, but also Daniel confirms that it's New York City that it's talking about because the idol of terror was set up there after 1290 days right here. So please, I'm begging you if, you, if you don't understand this information, if you're watching this channel for the first time, please, please check the links below this video to understand this um, because it's there's a lot to it. But these events that just occurred in the second major watch period for 2014 seem to be confirming that okay yes we're watching the right dates we're watching the right events um so this christ statue that we're told about in 2012 in the vision first i saw a vision of it in 2012 in april and then again in december um, it that seems to be part of this whole thing and that was confirmed in January when the lightning struck the hand of the Christ statue just like I saw in the vision in 2012 and and that occurred right in the middle of our first major watch period for this year and now it again the Christ statue was lit up for the World Cup event right in the middle of the second major watch period of 2014 so um this whole thing having to do with the World Cup, um, maybe it, it, it just seems like maybe it's important because, the, because of this word cup that we're found over and over again in the Bible that's associated with the wrath, which in turn is associated with the asteroid impact. And so... Um, the thing about this that kind of got me is the World Cup games. I mean, if that's what it's referring to in the Bible, when it's talking about the cup, is it talking about the World Cup, the most popular sporting event in the world? I don't know. But if it is, the World Cup games are not occurring again until 2018. And 2018 is after this seven-year period right here. So remember, there are several things that have to occur in order to make this seven-year period valid. And look how many of these things occurred. The 62 and 7 Shabuah until Messiah. Remember, it's code. Um, we know Daniel speaks in code. That shouldn't be a surprise. And then the 1290 days until the idol was set up. The 1335 days to the date the blessed were longing for. And then the delay... And even the sign mentioned in Revelation 12 happened in 2012. And, and the covenant with the beast happened right here. And at the end, the end of that covenant is seven years later. Right here, we already know that. So we talk about all of this in the, in the Prophecy Fulfilled playlist that's linked in the description below this video. So just everywhere in the Bible, it tells us that the tsunami event caused by an asteroid hitting the sea is coming up it just it seems to indicate it, we are in the time right now just everywhere and it's pointing it seems to be pointing to these three years right here 2014 2015 and 2016 so um the more i look into this world cup thing the more i think it may be connected and like i said it won't happen again until 2018 and then again in 2022 and like I said, that's after this seven-year period right here that Daniel talks about. And I mean, the likelihood that all of these other events will repeat again, starting another seven-year period, I don't, I don't know. That's, that seems unlikely to me. But hey, I mean, maybe it will. I don't know. But I mean, you know, like I said, the book of Daniel, the, our very last... It says it all has to be completed at the very latest by 2024. 
And like I said, there are a few seven year periods that are still coming up. Like I, one starts in this year and ends in 2020. But like I said, we have to have all these other events occur. I mean, in the seven year period, it's not just any seven year period. There are very specific events that have to occur. And they occurred right here, pointing to this time period right here, 2009 to 2016. So the likelihood that all of these events are going to occur again, starting another seven year period prior to 2024, I don't know, that seems unlikely to me. So I think, okay, if this World Cup really is what the Bible was referring to when it said the cup, I mean, it's kind of freaking me out. I'm not trying to freak you out, but I'm just saying it doesn't, the World Cup doesn't happen again until after the seven year period. So, hey, I mean, I, I hope, I hope it's, I, I hope nothing happens at all until 2024, because if nothing happens until 2024, it's not going to happen for another 500 years. We've talked about that. This Revelation 12 sign doesn't happen until 500 years from now. So I'm just saying, I, I'm not, I do hope that the escape happens, but um, I'm just, I'm just trying to, I'm just trying to let you guys know. Okay. I just think that because of this World Cup, the most popular sporting event in the world, starting on the exact center of the watch, just like we were given a forewarning about in January, I think we need to stay on high alert for this whole month until the World Cup is over on July 13th. Right here. So we already knew that our watch period goes until July because we have the multitude trumpets, atonement, and Sukkot coming up. I mean, I'm not saying this is the biblical date of trumpets. It's not. I'm just pointing out that it's a watch period that's coming up in July because um, also remember that vision I had in July of 2012 about the green sports field. It's right here. I looked down and saw a sports field below us. It had short green grass and white paint lines on it. Um, I uploaded that in 2012. Well, um, I thought at the time, because I'm not a sports fan, I thought at the time that it must be a football field. Um, because I didn't, that, that was the only field that I knew of that was green and had white lines on it. I, I thought, oh, that must be football. But I didn't really know. And I saw in the vision, in this vision right here, it's still on YouTube, I saw balls falling to the earth. Remember that? Jesus was showing me this juggling act and we were up above the sports field and all the balls fell after a long period of time and they fell down to the sports field below. I mean, it was just really weird vision and I didn't understand it. He was signing all these things with his left hand and in the vision. And it was just very weird. And at the time, I had no idea about the World Cup in 2014. In fact, I didn't even realize there might be a con connection until just the other day when I saw this picture right here. Um, so World Cup sports field right here looks exactly like what I saw. I mean, I don't know. I mean, it could have been, a, like I said, it could have been a football field too. I don't really know. Um, but... The only reason I even found out about the World Cup happening right now is because they lit up the Christ statue and I recognize that as part of the warning patterns. So, I mean, I, I, what's going on? I, I don't know what's going on here. Um, but like I said, it, it, it seems to be warning about the asteroid impact, the tsunami event in the Atlantic Ocean. That's what it seems to be warning about. So I think to myself, okay, you know, it's, it's, it's probably, it's just, we're watching this time period. And, you know, usually when we're watching a time period, events will happen, but there'll be like benign events. There'll be things that are not, you know, disastrous or anything. So I think, okay, well, the likelihood is that it's probably going to be just more clues about, you know, the ultimate warning here. But I, I don't know. I mean, I just don't know. I don't think any, most of us, most of us don't know what's going to happen. But, um, and you know, I'm not here trying to freak anybody out. I'm just here trying to just, I'm just here trying to sound the alarm. That's it. So, um, 
as you can see here this watch period is of the world cup which like i said because it opened during our major watch period our watch period extends until the world cup closes but it's also um when the multitude trumpets atonement and sukkot is occurring and we talk about the multitude calendar back in january but basically we know jesus said the multitude is the bride who will be taken to a safe place when the asteroid hits and the bride is not those who were bidden so it says right here 10 virgins five are wise five are foolish those that are ready go into the marriage the kingdom of heaven is like a marriage um, them that were bidden would not come that's the remnant they which were bidden were not worthy therefore i say to you the kingdom of god shall be taken from you and given to a nation bringing forth the fruits thereof those who will escape basically so those who will escape this coming event are not those who were originally invited so it's not the christians or the jews it's the multitude of all tribes and nations doesn't matter what religion or country you belong to so the interesting it's the people that are bringing forth the fruits so the interesting thing is in isaiah 1 we talked about this before the lord is talking to israel specifically the daughter of zion so this is a this is a reference to modern day israel the country of israel the, the daughter of zion and the lord says i hate your appointed feasts and your new moons and and people always say oh no 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 in isaiah 1 the lord is referring to what the israelites were doing back then they were worshiping other gods no that's not what it's saying here it says right here in isaiah 2 right after that still talking about the same thing it says it shall come to pass in the last days it's not talking about something that happened a long time ago it's talking about now and i mean this is really important because if the lord hates israel's feast days then why would the lord rescue the gentile bride on the standard jewish calendar for example on rosh hashanah the feast of trumpets like so many christians think i mean why would the lord do that i don't know i mean i don't know maybe that is when when judgment will happen maybe that's the date but remember jesus said it'll happen in the hour you don't expect we won't know the day or the hour so if, if all these people are expecting it to happen on the feast of trumpets probably not going to happen then because it says right here it's not going to happen on the date you think it's going to happen and then also remember the feast of trumpets was the 13 35th day in 2012 it was a standard jewish feast of trumpets so many christians were longing for that date including myself i was there i was right there thinking the same thing back then but now i'm looking at it i'm thinking wait a second i don't know if this makes sense now because now we know those dates aren't even right so i mean daniel 12 12 actually says they will long for and reach for that day but then in matthew 25 it says they will go forth to meet the bridegroom but there will be a delay it won't happen on the date they think it's going to happen so as crazy as it seems that really did happen in 2012 the exact fulfillment of that everybody longing for it on the feast of trumpets and then nothing and it says we won't know the day or the hour so i don't try to guess the day or the hour anymore i mean we have watch dates that's different we're watching what happens and we're we're trying to understand what these patterns are showing us but we're not trying to guess the date of the escape although we're we're still hoping i mean I, I i can only speak for myself i still hope but we don't try to guess the dates anymore because we don't know we don't know so please please don't misunderstand what we're doing here with these watch dates um but but what, I, what i'm looking at here is these these standard jewish feast dates it says right here in isaiah the lord says my soul hates them why because their hands are full of blood i mean what do they do on those days they kill things they sacrifice animals it says right here the lord hates that so it seems odd that the rescue will happen on those days but again i mean i don't know i'm just saying it seems kind of odd now that we know that the lord hates israel's feast days so we're going to start part four here 